Let's paint and weather a six scale Stormtrooper helmet to jazz up that display. We're going to start off with this 3D printed Stormtrooper helmet, but you can actually use one of your existing six scale Hot Toys Stormtrooper helmet or even a Hasbro one if you can get one. I started by priming this, this fossil color. I just picked it at random. I like to have, start with a nice tan base and then I'm going to go over it with a Vallejo stencil white. Um, so I just picked this white because I thought I, it looked good. I had it available and it's a good white for this. Um, obviously I'm not using Archive X paints or anything like that, which are great, but this is just for a background helmet. Once I'm done with the white, I'm going to use Vallejo Black and a dark green. Mix those two one to one together and I'm going to paint in the lenses. It, they're mostly black, but I, like I said, I like to mix it in half black, half green, just to give it that green tint but you could just use black if you want I'm using a fine tip brush here make sure I stick to the lines stay inside the lines but you can always clean up any uh, errors with your original white paint I'm also going to start doing this black line that goes across the uh, forehead or the front of the face here take your time with this this is a uh, this can be therapeutic uh, at least it is for me. So just enjoy it, stay inside the lines like I said, and have fun with it. Now I'm doing the mouth area. I'm just going going to do the whole slit here or that grill area just in all black and I'll come in later and I'll paint in the gray spots. I'm also doing the little filters or, or I don't know, what those filters or those communicators, no idea. All right, now it's time to do the gray areas, the uh, the spots on the cheeks, on the uh, on where the ears are on the sides of the head, um, on the back of the helmet, and then in the front, uh, on the top, on the forehead, and as well as the the spots on the grill on the mouth slit. And I'm going to use a medium blue to just color in these. What, what I guess what's supposed to be vents, or let's just call them rectangles on each side on the lower jaw area. These vents are probably the hardest things to block in with paint because they're so tiny. Um, uh, using black to color in the frame around that rectangular ear piece. A little line of black directly around it. Again, take your time. Now I'm going to use watered down FW black ink. I've mixed about three drops of this ink to about 10 drops of water, maybe even more, 15 drops of water. And I'm applying it over the gray areas, just a little bit. I don't want to let it pull too much. And when that's dry, that's it. You're basically done. You've got a clean Stormtrooper helmet. Here it is on the right compared to the Hot Toys uh, helmet that comes with um, Endor Leia on the left. And you could stop here by all means, but I'm going to weather this a little bit. I'm going to use sepia. FW sepia and same thing about three to four drops to about 20 drops of water even 25 drops of water I'm going to really water this down and I'm going to use a brush obviously and just start applying it lightly in streaks my idea here is to make it look like this was stained with some kind of light mud um, so you will have these hard water stains uh, where I'm applying this I didn't want this to look like the weathering on the helmet that comes with the layer, the one I just had up on the screen. I wanted this to look not as not as weathered and like a different kind of weathering. Again, like it's been hit with watery mud. And I'm just putting this down in layers. I come back as I'm, let it dry and then come back and put some more. I'm also using this trick where I kind of uh, flick the brush at it when it's wet and it kind of splashes small little droplets of it And as you can see here This is what it looks like and we can stop here, too But let's, why don't we add some dried blood to that It always gives it a nice cool effect Starting off with Vallejo whole red, which is one of my favorite reds whole red is like a really really dark almost brick red and scarlet red mainly uh, it's just whole red and I'm just painting on streaks from one of the eyes just to make it look uh, 
shocking or you know really draw your attention to this area and trying to paint it on to make it look like it's just dripped down one of the eye sockets for some reason although why would there be blood dripping out of the eye socket unless it's been shot out but anyways <laughs> it just looks cool right uh, and the scarlet red I just added very very small drops of it for for effect for highlighting but this is what the end product looks like Add it to any of your displays, your current ones, or any dioramas you make. Uh, and again, the weathering could have been done to an existing Hot Toys Stormtrooper helmet. I hope you guys liked that. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more videos just like this.